Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Casper, Takedown Media. Our coverage of the sport continues. Today, we find ourselves in Traverse City, Michigan, and talking to Russell Nyland. You might remember Russell as a 12-year Navy veteran. He uh, mustered out at Petty Officer First Class, and he joins us now. Does this young wrestling coach, Russ, how are you? Great. Thanks, Scott. Can I call you Rusty? Yes, sir. All right, yes, Rusty. Scott. Well, welcome, man. I'm Scott. You don't call me Scott. That works back and forth. I love that. Rusty, welcome to the show. Um, one of the things I wanted to talk to you about today, besides your background, is is your deal with uh, our good friends at McBride Mats. Um, Clayton McBride told me about you, told me of your story and, and the Navy and, and all this, and uh, I find it rather endearing. You've been involved in wrestling for how, how many years of your life? Well, let's see. I Since 1999. Okay, easy enough. Uh, and yeah. you're now 31 years old, and uh, you've you've built a program uh, that you now, take us back. You actually wrestled at Traverse City West High School as an athlete, right? Correct. So once a Titan, always always a Titan. That's right, Scott. You took 12 years off though to to uh, to join the Navy and to see the world, and you literally saw the world. Tell us about some of the ports of call. Uh, well, I was stationed out in uh, San Diego. I was on a amphib ship, and uh, we went over. We went to Hawaii. We went to Dubai, Thailand, Singapore, Australia. Just uh, a whole bunch of big, nice port visits for us guys, enjoying uh, a little break from, you know, being out at sea for so long. Being out at sea mm -hmm. brings its own challenges, but you actually enjoyed being shipboard, didn't you? Absolutely. It's great. I got to meet a lot of real good kids or guys, you know, good life, uh, long friends. I, uh, I met my wife on the ship and we're still married and have three kids to this day, you know, and, uh, nothing but good things out of the Navy. Yeah. You better not let her hear you say still married, but yeah, I know. <laughs> and the reason I, I want to build this up because it, uh, your life mm -hmm. and time mm -hmm. that you spent in the Navy actually plays into you being able to to round up money enough to buy a new mat, a new competition mat for McBride Mats uh, for your Travis City West High School Titans. Is that correct? It is correct. So talk to us about how this whole thing, first of all, you established a need. Was the mat that you competed on when at Travis City West, was the mat that you competed on the same mat that, you're, uh, that you were asking your kids to wrestle on today? That's correct. We had the same mats, the uh, three section mat that, you know, when you roll them up, you, you don't use them for a while. You had to put the 45 pound plates to keep them flat. Um, you know, since the school opened in 1997, the, those are the only mats that they had. Um, and when I got back to coaching, um, I wanted a, a new mat, you know, the easy uh, fold out ones that, uh, are easy for kids to haul around, not as long, and just look phenomenal. Um, and I knew a guy named Mike Maloney, who's with uh, Evolution Wrestling Camps. I talked to him, and he told me about McBride Mats with Clayton. And I called Clayton, and I instantly knew I went to the right guy. He was so familiar with everything. You know, he's the CEO, and he really – helped me out with everything. Whenever I had a question, he would call me within two minutes if he missed a call. You know, it was just a good, friendly, home-oriented relationship right from the start. It's interesting. We're, we're, we're seeing here is, is we're, we're, we're finding common threads with all the coaches I'm talking to that are making the decision to, to go with McBride Mats is that there's an awful lot of good customer service here, and that's perhaps one of the things that can make a decision of spending this kind of money. Uh, it's not a uh, inexpensive item. It's the most expensive thing that a wrestling program will buy. But the athletes were being asked to wrestle on 25 to 30 year old technology. And you thought there would be something better out there, better for them, better for their safety and for that of their family as well. Absolutely. You know, the, the McBride mats, not only do they look phenomenal, um, the artwork and everything, but they are, just so comforting, everything. It's just all around a great package. You're in your second year of coaching now as the head coach, but you actually spent two years at Traverse City West as an assistant coach. Yeah, I, I spent the first one as like a volunteer, 
coach, and then I was actually hired on as the assistant, and then the last two years I was head coach. So it's really been all along, all about the money. <laughs> uh, yeah, all around the money, yeah. I think it comes down to 13 cents an hour, we'll say. So. That's not bad. That's not bad. At least right. you get insurance. Um, exactly. Rusty yeah. Nyland is our guest. He's the head coach at Traverse City West High School. Uh, describe your team for me. How many kids are in your program, and is there a developmental program uh, at the uh, at the junior level? Uh, currently, currently we have about 25 kids on the team, um, and all different types of learning skills. We have some top notch guys that have been, they work year round. We have some guys that are just fresh and wanted to try something new. And we, um, you know, we really tried to do off season. We do my way wrestling wham wrestling and we work with new way a lot where it's just something that these kids have the opportunity to travel uh being up in traverse city we always have to travel at least two hours plus to go to these tournaments but we allow them to do that and we take them down there and try to get them as much mat time as possible um we have a lot of kids that have placed in my way and have placed in the wham states so we are just a good, solid group that are we're trying to build character athletes and not just wrestlers. I'd I'd like seeing this uh, now. Uh, coach Nash Myers was is he the the pass coach? Is that correct? Yes, he is. Okay, and I know that you're busy in the community, busy teaching these kids, but there's also a booster club. We've got to give some credit to the booster club because they said if you raise so much money, they would match it, right? Yeah, they did a great job. Uh, my athletic director, Jason Carmine, he is the one who was fully supportive of, of the new mat. Um, he backed us 100% to talk to the Booster Club. Booster Club said if we raised the money, they'd match it. Um, but by the time we were over, you know, the limit of you know what we needed, we were over at five grand. And I said, hey, all we need is three. You know, they were more than willing to sac not sacrifice to send that to us and say, Hey, listen, you did a great job. And you know, the wrestling program doesn't ask too much, you know, we're not a needy sport and we do a lot for ourselves. And it was just time, you know, 1997, you know, to 20, 2016, you know, it's time for a new mat. It's time for a change. And it's time to look, look good, you know, uh, and some new materials and new equipment. It's great. TC West Titans have a cool logo too, as you might guess the uh, Trojan, uh, headgear or the mask anyway, with the, uh, uh, the ruffled top, the feathers sticking up or horse hair, whatever that material is, but it's, uh, it's on a shield. And what you provided is a shield between the hard surface that the mat is rolled out onto and your young athletes. And I like that idea. Uh, you used a, a process called GoFundMe, uh, which is becoming more and more popular. And then from there, you were able to invite people to go to the GoFundMe site and uh, invest. And in fact, we go full circle here in this interview. You went back and talked mm -hmm. to a bunch of your mm -hmm. Navy buddies, and they helped pitch in, didn't they? Yeah, absolutely. You know, one of the best things about having service members for friends, you know, they're lifelong friends. And it was so easy for me to just share the GoFundMe page on social media where they could share it to all their Navy buddies, mm -hmm. Marine buddies, anybody, you know. And it really helped us out because when we did the um, sending out to social media, you know, people that you w didn't even reach out to would, you know, donate. And it really tells a lot about the service members that are still fighting the good fight, that they can still give back to those in need or just moving on in their lives, getting out of the service uh, just for good things. Wow. And the goal... GoFundMe was just real easy. I had a parent, um, Pat Masowitz, who just took it and was like, hey, let's do it. And we raised it, I think, within three months. Really? That's, yeah, it didn't take as long. That's amazing. I, I mean, that's why, first of all, thank you to the boosters and thank you to uh, all members that did contribute to this because you, you've become an extended member of the TC West team. And uh, we like that. That's community involvement. That's what wrestling should be about, providing opportunity for all uh, that want to participate and then encouraging the academic prowess that comes along with a good athlete. Uh, gives you one more touch on the student one more touch in such a way where you can help direct them to be more successful academically as well, right? 
Correct. Yeah, absolutely. And it's, I got to believe the school, there's probably a lot of pride too when you roll something out like this new mat. What was that first uh, mat rollout like? Well, we had a first tournament on um, this year and it, we had a snow day on the day of competition. There was a local team that, you know, said, hey, we'll still come. So we rolled it out and we had one duel on it and it was just great. We started off with a win and it was just real nice to see that. Um, the atmosphere, it just, like I said, you look good, you feel good, and it really kind of pumped up our kids. And then we just had a tournament at our home uh, school. There's 20 teams it's called the Traverse City West Holiday Tournament. And we actually crowned one champion at 189 pounds, Jacob Ransom. And it was good to see his hand raised on that mat. You know, it was just really good because once you start feeling good, looking good, it's just contagious, and you just start to win. I like that, and 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 I gotta believe uh, your athletic director, your AD Jason Carmian, is uh, fully in your corner. I know he's been teaching there since 1997, uh, which is uh, an extensive period of time. But he knows what works. Every every athletic program at your un- at your uh, at your school uh, is required to participate with the booster by contributing $1,500 a year. So that act of fundraising continues, doesn't it? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Part of the, um, fundraising events that we have, you know, to raise the $5,000 or even the 1500 each year for the boosters, we do a silent auction where myself and my father, Steve Nyland, we go to local, um, companies around Traverse city and just ask them, you know, face to face, hey, you know, this is a good program. Would you be willing to donate stuff? And um, we get golf outings, we get boat rides, hotels, food, anything. And it just helps the local community. And we we reach out to them. We send them a picture of the team, have the kids sign a card. We send it out to them. And it just gives good personal relationships amongst uh, Trevor City. Sure. Um, and. Jason Carmeen, like I said, he was right on board with it. You know, when we asked for that extra little bit, you know, he already signed the line. He was ready to go for us. I love it. Well, we're going to be showing, obviously, some uh, footage of of uh, the mats and uh, some pictures as well. Uh, we surely uh, uh, look forward to talking to you again soon, Rusty. Um, on behalf of all of us at Takedown, I want to thank you for your years of service uh, while in the Navy. Uh, literally patrolling the waters of the world and uh, protecting uh, the United States of America while doing so. Thank you for your service. My pleasure. And I do want to thank our friends at McBride Mats uh, from uh, Clayton uh, down to the guys that roll the mats and put them on the trucks when they're finished and getting ready for delivery. McBride Mats is proving out to be not just American-made, but American made in america with pride and we like that so that's uh, pretty cool rusty we appreciate the the opportunity uh are you guys out of out of school right now or what's the schedule look like? yeah we got a snow day today we uh actually have a scheduled dual meet that we uh i don't think we're gonna have rain doesn't go very good on snow so uh <laughs> you know we just play we'd be flexible we'll try to get the kids in there try to get sweat going and see if we can do it and if not reschedule and be ready for battle now you take as many kids in the gym if it's one on one that's fine if it's one on 20 whatever you know we'll take all we can get give the Absolutely. kids the opportunity and that's what it's all about about Traverse City West and the Titans our guest today has been Rusty Nyland in the Nike hot seat today Rusty I hope you had a good time we'll look forward to uh, continuing our conversation with you keep us posted on the team as you guys make your way to state and uh, we hope everything goes well on the balance thank you so much for your time scott appreciate it and um we look forward to hearing from you go titans i'm scott casper for takedown wrestling media thanks for watching this special interview and thanks to our friends at mcbride mats for making this story uh, uh evident to us and affording us the opportunity to have this conversation 